Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Beautiful day. Some drizzly rain, although a very little. Might be a twentieth of an inch. Uh, 1.5 millimeters, but that's good. Here at the southern border, we have a road, and this road collects a lot of rainwater that then comes through here and uh, enters the land that culvert. The water used to come down here, unrestricted, <clears throat> and then that way, removing tons and tons of soil from this land, just because it was never well done. The state thought it will just run through here to the other border. This is the narrowest part of the land. It the land is in the shape of a pizza slice, so this is the pointy area. So what we have done is to um, put in here two gabions. We realized that the water coming down here was too much to actually control, especially when it goes downhill fast so we have this second gabion now with plastic should it rain the water goes that way so if we split the water we can manage it quite well and now I have a third invention here and that is I'm waiting for some dirt to fill up that hole and get access to the higher point, uh, the bottom of this culvert, which is much higher as the level of the earth behind, uh, below it. And then I will take it this way. So this is the first time I do it the prescribed way of keeping the water as high as possible. In the past I used to work with what I could do and easily, quickly adjust. But this is now an exciting new addition. When this hole is filled with dirt, I will take a third of the water this way and then I want to take a third of the water that way to make a loop and then go into that bottom uh, erosion gully and then a little bit further I want to take it to this middle swale It's not so easy to make swales on this land by following a contour because uh, there's always a tree popping up in its way. So this first part was not that bad. I could just follow the fence line and uh, the first tree, I just wanted to be higher than the first tree. And then I could, this part, I could dig with the excavator. I didn't want to really have a swale, it's just more a canal to transport the water to the other side. Then we had to drop the swale a bit to get below this tree. 
and then a very tricky part started we had to measure it three four times there's a little bit water coming down here collected from that area and it makes a little creek down here so I will now redesign this area here perhaps a little catchment area and here I cannot bring the excavator in because it's too steep we'll make another canal here by hand and here I had to drop it a few degrees as well to escape this beautiful cork oak and then here I will take the excavator again and uh, first fill up those two holes so that I can work there and then make a swell to that tree then drop it down and bring it back above that tree all the way to that big set of trees over there and uh, that will give us a lot of water infiltration surface that will be so great here at this end there's even space for that long swale I talked about but also another one up to that tree bite them Luna bite them she's the most playful one here and the game is usually one will run and the others will chase and uh, she's always game for that this is the mark this is the same contour as the bottom of the culvert we have just seen and the interesting thing is it brings me to the second culvert and uh, we have removed some more sand hopefully we will get more good rain before the end of our rainy season so it might even be these two culverts are the same height we are very happy with the rain we have received last year we had nothing for the first three months of the year last year we only had rain in December and then in October till next time goodbye